There we go. Okay. Good evening, guys. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, guys. Uh, can you hear me fine? Because I can hear some static. Can you hear me fine? Uh, can you hear me? Okay. Just bear with me a moment, guys, because I can hear some static on my end. So just a moment, guys. Ahora? Ahora se escucha mejor. Very good. Okay, guys, uh, can you hear me now? Hello. Yes, teacher. Very good. Thank you, Luis. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yes. Uh, I don't know why, but I had some audio issues at the beginning, so I just wanted to confirm. So how are you doing today, guys? How is everything going? I can see you guys are a little bit sleepy. It seems like probably you didn't sleep too much. So what happened? What's going on, guys? Sí, yo, chair, we have yes. a question. Yes, go ahead, Francisco. ¿A dónde está subiendo usted el, los programas de, los, de las clases que estamos viendo? Que yo he estado buscándolo hasta el viernes y no lo encuentro. Porque quería repasar con el enlace que me enviaron le entre las ¿Eh? páginas de inglés corporativo y no lo encuentro. Ah, bueno. Qué extraño, la verdad, Francisco, porque lo subo al mismo, a la misma este, es, lista de reproducción, ¿verdad? Porque tengo una lista de reproducción asignada para el grupo. Entonces, la no, yo, yo, yo lo revisé, pero es que el viernes no hubo, fue jueves. Correcto. No, correcto. no, es que yo quería repasar, yo quería repasar y el viernes me puse a buscar y todavía ahora me estaba poniendo a buscar uh -huh. y no lo encuentro. En otras okay. casas estuve eh, viendo que han colocado, pero no la de estas y el enlace que me envían a mí de inglés uh -huh. corporativo no me deja ingresar. Es más, bueno. ya lo voy a enviar a la, a la, al chat para que lo puedan. Ok. Sí, por favor, por favor, Francisco. Eh, lamento ahí que tengas el problema, pero... En este caso... Sí, porque yo sí lo puedo, lo puedo utilizar. So el del can, día jueves. So you can access, Luis, you can see it, right? Igual yo también los he podido ver. And you as well, Jacqueline. Okay, very good. So yes, probably there is a problem with the link that they send you, Francisco. So we need to verify the link. Okay, I will send it to you. I will send it ahorita to you. Ahorita lo envío, ahorita lo envío. Es el que me enviaron, así. Veamos. Vamos a ver. Sí, bueno. Aunque le quite los guiones, siempre no me deja, no me deja entrar en solo me tira okay. a la página principal de YouTube, no sé. Sí, eso es lo que le preguntaba, porque a veces quiero revisar las clases para medio ver algo. Sí. Y hoy no, no le podía encontrar, pero I bueno. See. Yes, I can see that, Francisco. So probably there is a problem with the link that they... Uh, shared with you so i'm going to send you the link okay don't, don't worry about that i can do that so that is not a problem of course yes i i can do that yes not a problem francisco i can do that all right so how are you guys feeling today i can see that you guys are like sleepy i don't know why because you had like a lot of time to rest so you guys should be with a lot of energy i think i mean you didn't have class on friday Saturday, Sunday. So what did you guys do? Did you did you go to a party or something like that? And that is the reason why you are so down like this? No, teacher, me is only work work and I am I am waking uh, sick. <laughs> oh I am sorry. I'm sorry to hear that, Anna. Yes. That is something that is happening these days. I think that a, a lot of people are getting sick, a lot of people are getting a like cough. The also uh, the flu and all of that is like flu season, I guess. Everybody's getting sick. Is the weather the teacher say me? Is the weather? I agree. I agree. I think that it is because of the weather too. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, alguien me envió un enlace, pero el que me envió fue cómo activar mi usuario en inglés corporativo, no la clase, el listado de la clase. <laughs> okay. Vaya, este, ahorita se lo voy a enviar, Francisco. Just bear with me. Lo voy a poner para que vean que no mientan. Este es el que me envió. <laughs> pero gracias. <laughs> es otra cosa, verdad? Okay, no, ese no es el que necesitamos. 
Ahorita se lo voy a enviar. Just give me a moment here. Gracias, gracias. You're welcome, Francisco. Very good. So we are going to access here. Okay, so... Okay, so tell me, guys, how is everything going? Were you able to finish with all of the activities? I, I can imagine that you did because you are sending like screenshots of the next topic. I mean, you guys are almost finished. So I can imagine that you already, you, you're doing good, I guess. I, I guess that you're doing very good. Okay, les voy a enviar la playlist acá. Yo aquí la tengo. Aquí está. Bueno, esto tendría que ser, esto tendría que ser, realmente. Sí, ya, 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 gracias, gracias, ya la pasaron ahí. Ok. <laughs> ya, ya, Very ya, good. solo la voy a guardar ahí, gracias. Very good, yes, you're welcome. All right, guys, so, did you remember, well, last week, we had, like, some homework, you had an assignment, I told you guys that I wanted for you, like, to make a presentation about the information that we learned last week. At the end, we didn't do it because we didn't have the class on Friday. So I don't know if you guys want to share that. You guys want to, uh, I mean, if you have something uh, prepared that you want to share with the class, that would be great. Do you guys want to share something with the class? I think that we need to practice, okay? So I just want to do that before we start. So is there anyone that prepared something for last Friday? Maybe somebody that wants to share something with the class. Yo la verdad no me acuerdo de nada, por eso quería ver las repeticiones para, para I can see that. Refrescarme. I can see Yo that. Soy Francisco. sincero. Yeah, I'm I can. sorry teacher. It's fine, it's fine, Francisco. It's okay. Oh, I can imagine. Yes, I mean, I I know that you guys probably are really busy. Probably you guys have other things to do, like work and things with the family. So that's okay. I mean, that's okay. Well, so if you don't have any, if nobody has anything to share with the class, then we are going to start with the class for today. So just give me a moment. Let's see. All right, uh, guys, no sé si alguien tiene alguna pregunta, alguna inquietud antes de que comencemos, algo que quieran decir para la clase. Oh, it's it's here. Here. Uh, I have a question. Um, yeah. I'm trying to finish to ex the mid exam final, yeah. but I can do it in the one question, one item. Se lo voy a decir en español porque no lo puedo decir en inglés. Creo que lo he intentado muchas veces y no me agarra la respuesta correcta. Ok. Lo que son de los exámenes, yo envío las respuestas ahí. Así que solo, como digo yo, no lo no copien y peguen porque les va a dar error. Ajá, yo lo traté así, lo he escrito de varias veces. Sí, porque eh. a mí ya se me pasó, eh, me dio lo que es error para estar copy-paste, copy-paste. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Sí, hay que tener Pero, cuidado. Sí, lo recomiendo mejor, escríbanlo. Y recuerden el punto al final y lo que es el signo de interrogación. Sí, eh, tiene razón, Francisco. Eh, por lo general, tienen que tener cuidado que no hayan espacios, que no haya, digamos, un punto extra o algo así. Porque Por ejemplo, si... la que le está dando problema a todos es la que dice, come on to panic on the Sunday, please ask Paula. Donde es Paula to come to, uh, to picnic Sunday, punto, nada más ahí. Ok, ok. So, yes. uh... Reina, ¿tú no you... me vas a arañar por, por darle las lecciones del examen. <laughs> No, gracias, la verdad que sí me ha servido, pero en realidad no, no, lo, no lo he podido, no me lo marca bien. Sí, Voy a como, terminar ahí. también con... que le revisen la, la plataforma, porque a veces la plataforma anda medio loca como yo. Se le, <risa> se le, se le caen los tor se le pasan los tornillos de más. No, está bien, está bien que reporten si hay un problema, porque a veces sucede, ¿verdad? Que como dice Francisco, tal vez una pregunta ustedes la están contestando bien, pero el sistema no la toma como tiene que ser. Entonces, en esos casos se reporta con las personas que están encargadas de esa área y ellos hacen las modificaciones para que... Ah, sí, la otra cosa, perdón que interrumpo. Uh -huh. Recuerden que Paula va con P mayúscula y, y lo que es um, eh, Secure Day y uh, la I sin mayúscula. Ok, very good. Very good. Thank you, Francisco. Thank you for sharing that with the class. That's really good. So just keep that in mind, guys. 
<risa> no, very good. A mí yeah. siempre me gusta ayudar y preguntar, así que lo siento. <risa> oh, está bien, está bien. Alguien probablemente tenga alguna duda con eso y está bien que lo compartamos porque, eh, bueno, no, no todos no todos nos atrevemos a veces a estar hablando, ¿verdad? Así que está bien. Está bien. So, guys, I think that you, you should be happy because this is the last week for this level. We just need um, to be sure. here this week and um, then, yes. Podría, eh, para, para que todos los que no se nos ha olvidado, creo que podría dar solo un pequeño resumen de uno, dos, dos minutos, solo un resumen rápido para que podamos eh, no problem. Eh, yes. recordar. Muchísimas gracias y mm -hmm. disculpo mm -hmm. que le interrumpa. No, you're, that's okay. Yes, not a problem. Yes, we can do that. Uh, so, you, you remember, guys, last week we were talking about the superlatives, we also talked about the comparative forms. Uh, so basically we started the rules that you guys need to use so you can do that, so you can compare two teams, or so you can compare two people or two teams. Uh, that was one of the things that we started last week, okay? Um, so basically, let me show you really quick. Okay, I'm going to show this really fast. I know that probably most of you remember this, but for the ones who don't remember, we are going to explain this again really quick, okay? Really fast. So let me see. Okay, so last week, guys, let me see here. Just a moment, guys. Bear with me. Okay. Da. There we go. Okay, there we go, guys. So last week we were talking about the comparative form, also the superlative form. So when it comes to the superlative, we said that we use that when we have more than two things or more than two people, okay? And we are saying that something has a quality at the highest or the lowest level, okay? For example, as you can see here, uh, we are talking about John. We're saying that John is the tallest person of his family, okay? So uh, John is the one who has the highest degree of this quality, which is that he is tall, okay? De acuerdo. Entonces, guys, eh, estábamos hablando la semana pasada acerca de los comparativos, superlativos. Decíamos que comparativos era para dos cosas. ¿De acuerdo? Y superlativos era cuando teníamos más de dos cosas y estábamos diciendo que una persona o una cosa tenía esa, cali esa cualidad de la que estábamos hablando en el grado más alto, ¿verdad? Decíamos, por ejemplo, John es la persona más alta. ¿Ok? That was the superlative, okay? More than two. And we, we eh, nosotros estudiamos las reglas, estudiamos acá que la mayoría de los casos solamente agregábamos EST para el caso de comparativos, eh, para superlativos, perdón. Y para el caso de superlativos, eh, agregamos EST y para comparativos solamente agregábamos ER al final. Just like that, okay? And then when it comes to adjectives that end with the letter Y and just two syllables, we just change the Y, we turned the Y to an I, and then we add EST for the superlative. And we add ER for the comparative form, okay? <clears throat> Luego, eh, teníamos por acá cuando un adjetivo terminaba en esta combinación de consonante, vocal y consonante, nosotros duplicábamos la consonante y agregábamos ER para el caso de comparativo y EST para el caso de superlativo. ¿De acuerdo? Ok, y por último, eh, teníamos que para los adjetivos de dos o más sílabas que no terminan con la letra Y, nosotros agregábamos esta palabra adicional que era como more en el caso de los comparativos y most en el caso del superlativo, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces, por ejemplo, era the most active, the le, eh, well, the most generous. And if you want to say the opposite, you want to say that something has the lowest eh, degree of a quality, then you will say the least, ¿ok? 
Sí, dígame, Nadia. Teacher, I have a question. Can you explain me with different about the most and we use the more? Uh -huh. um, I am um, now in the exercise, the, in the exercise of the platform, I committed an error on that, so I have this confusion of when to use the most and when to use the more. Yes, okay, very good. Yes, thank you, Nadia. So, all right, so like we were saying, uh, you are going to use the most when you are making like a comparison between more than two people, okay, or two things. For example, eh, digamos que usted está hablando de tres personas, okay? Tiene a Francisco, a Ana y a Luis, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces tenemos a los tres. Uno de ellos eh, tiene, por ejemplo, una cualidad que sobresale por encima de, de los otros dos. ¿Ok? Entonces, cuando tenemos tres cosas o tres personas y estamos intentando expresar la cualidad que sobresale más, vamos a decir, por ejemplo, the most. ¿Ok? Puede decir, eh, he is the most eh, gener generous, or you can say, he is the most active. ¿Ok? Y el comparativo se utiliza eh, solamente para dos. ¿Ok? Entonces, solamente pudiera comparar a dos de ellos. Y diría, eh, por ejemplo, Francisco is more, eh, he is more, uh, let's see, let me think Hablante. about, Hablante. yes, Francisco Hablante. is Hablante. more, more Hablante. talkative, yes, that is a good example, yes, very good, thank you guys, yes, so Francisco is more talkative than Luis, for example, ok, está comparando una cualidad solamente entre ellos dos, de acuerdo, no lo podría hacer con más, entonces tiene que ver el contexto, y tiene que ver eh, con qué se está realizando la comparación. Porque hay casos, por ejemplo, en el que solamente son dos cosas, pero estamos hablando, eh, por ejemplo, del mundo entero. ¿Ok? Y en ese caso, cuando usted se refiere a una escala de una población muy grande, se, se infiere que vamos a utilizar el superlativo, por esa razón. Ok, okay teacher. Gracias, yo me había confundido en, en el ejercicio de the most, most famous o more the more famous. Uh -huh. sí. Gracias, teacher. You're welcome, Nadia. You're welcome. Okay, so now, uh, Francisco, uh, please go ahead. Okay, uh, para terminar rápido, ¿cuál? Bueno, lo es, yo voy a intentar hacer en inglés. What is the uh, translate the general source or Spanish? You mean ¿Cuál es what? La traducción is... de general uh -huh. español. Yes, so what is the translation uh, of generous to Spanish? What does it, yes, what does it mean in Spanish? Okay, uh, generous, it means generoso, generoso. Okay, okay, thanks, mm -hmm. teacher. You're welcome, you're welcome, so yes. ¿Alguna otra pregunta para que pasemos a lo demás? Gracias, Francisco, gracias. Okay, eh, entonces eso es lo que estábamos viendo, correcto? Y aquí teníamos unos ejemplos con diferentes tipos de adjetivos, utilizando las reglas que habíamos mencionado antes, ¿correcto? Por ejemplo, clean, solamente le agregábamos EST, hot, eh, es consonante, vocal, consonante, entonces por eso duplicamos la consonante al final y agregamos EST al final del adjetivo, ¿ok? En eso se dice con la de Bob es hotes, ¿no? O, uh -huh. o recuerdo mal. Their okay, pizza is the, is the hottest. The, the hottest. Thanks. You're welcome. So, and then we had another example here that says, her mother is the busiest woman I have ever seen. Okay, busy. Busy termina con la letra Y. Entonces la cambiamos por letra I, la I normal del puntito, y agregamos EST al final. Okay, y luego teníamos fun, eh, I'm sorry, funny, in the case of the funny, we change, uh, in this case, we double the end. I'm sorry, I don't know why we, I think it's just like this. Okay, in this case, we change the, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, so we double the end, and then we change the Y to I, and then we add E-S-T at the end, okay? 
so that is something well that's basically what we saw last week we also uh, we also talked about this okay we have this uh, summary this is like a summary about uh, the, the you know the, the adjective in the base form then you have the adjective in the comparative form and then you have the superlative so that's what we discussed last week all of this okay as you can see uh, two things with the comparison, okay? Which country is larger, Canada or China? Okay, which city has the largest population? Okay, Tokyo, Mexico City or Sao Paulo? Okay, we have three cities, okay? Three cities in this example. <clears throat> okay, and then we also talk about a uh, distance and how to measure uh, things, okay? So basically we were saying that a measurement is the process when we compare something with a specific quantity, okay? Uh, for, and we said that we have the length, the width, the height, and also the depth, okay? So length is how large something is, the width is how wide something is, height, how tall something is, <clears throat> and the depth, how deep something is, okay? So that's what we were saying. And I also showed you guys some examples here, like the deepest place on the planet, okay? The deepest, okay? As you can see, we are talking about the place with, which has the, the highest degree of, in this case, uh, this uh, quality, okay? That this is the place that goes down the most, okay? It goes down to the deepest place that we know, okay? And then we have also the Mount Everest, which is the place that goes up, okay? It goes up the most on earth, okay? So, and we also talk about how we can say, how we can, uh, you know, answer questions. If somebody asks, uh, for example, how high something is and also how deep something is, okay? All right, so we usually use length for things like this, like a river. Okay, how large, how large is the river? Okay, we have different units that we can use. Okay, guys, entonces estábamos viendo que esto se relaciona eh, con lo que habíamos visto anteriormente, tiene como una conexión. En este caso estábamos hablando de las cualidades de dimensiones y medidas. Decíamos el lugar más profundo, okay, el lugar más alto. Y también decíamos eh, la longitud, el largo. How large. Y teníamos por otra parte por acá, yo les mostraba a ustedes eh, sistemas de unidades, ¿ok? Probablemente ustedes ya hayan escuchado esto. Eh, está el sistema métrico, que es el sistema internacional de medidas, que es el que todos los países deberían de utilizar. Y por otra parte, tenemos el sistema inglés, que este es el que más se utiliza en Estados Unidos, ¿ok? Así que, por ejemplo, si ustedes quieren describir algo para una persona eh, que está en Estados Unidos, por lo general, ellos hablan de pulgadas, si es algo pequeño, eh, pies, cuando se trata de altura de una persona, por ejemplo. Y pues ya millas, en el caso de di dimensiones más grandes, ¿verdad? Eh, es bien raro que ellos digan kilómetros, así como nosotros lo hacemos. Ellos dicen, bueno, it is a 25 mile uh, extension or something like that, ¿ok? And then when it comes to weight, eh, well, they use pounds, ¿ok? We, use, we should use kilograms. That is the international unit for mass. Okay, and then they use gallons. And temperature, they use Fahrenheit, okay? So I just wanted to show you guys this because this, this is something that it, it has. Uh, I think that this, this is something that you guys can use. All right, so then uh, after that, after we saw the different measurements that you guys can use, that you can describe, We also said how you can ask for that information, okay? For example, you can ask how big is a city, okay? How big is San Salvador? And we said that you can say uh, San Salvador is 100 square kilometer, okay? Kilometers, just like this, okay? That, that is going to be the answer. As you can see, you are asking using an information question. Okay, like how, how big, how high, how far, 
And then you are going to get information in the answer, right? You will get San Salvador is the same tense, okay? You're using the verb to be for the question and then you are getting the same answer with the verb to be, okay, is. How high is San Miguel volcano? It is 200 meters high, okay? So you can describe things like this. Okay, eh, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta, guys, acerca de esto. Estábamos básicamente eh, simplemente describiendo eh, cosas, describiendo lugares y estábamos eh, también viendo cómo se puede preguntar información acerca de eso. ¿Alguna duda con esto, guys? Any questions? Estuvo bien, estuvo, estuvo bien, pero una pregunta. Eh... Um, ¿Solo estas formas hay de hacer las preguntas o hay otro tipo? Bueno, esa es una excelente pregunta, la verdad, Francisco. Yo creo que estas son las formas más comunes, la verdad. Si usted, eh, bueno, en algún dado caso le preguntan eh, qué tan alto es un lugar, esta es creo la forma más usada, si no es que es la única quizás. Ok, ok, gracias. Lo, lo puede decir tal vez de otra forma, pero no va a sonar tan natural, digámoslo así. Ah, ok, ok. No he preguntado porque eh, hay que recordar que, por ejemplo, los americanos utilizan infinidades, pero infinidad de formas para decir la misma cosa. Como, por ejemplo, para saludar, uh -huh. eh, nosotros nos enseña que es hi, yes. good, eh, good night, good evening, ¿verdad? pero uh -huh. um, bueno, que he escuchado, eh, allá más que todo, cuando saludan, por uh -huh. muy chistoso que sea, que sea sí. eh, se oye mucho el, ¿qué pasa? Yes, yes. <risa> Right, so there, there are different ways, yes. I think that there are many, many ways that you can do it. You're right, but I'm nice showing you chair. guys. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. Yeah, so I'm, I'll try to show you guys like the the way that is used the most, okay? That's the most important thing, I think, that you can use uh, only those options that are going to guarantee that people are going to understand what you're trying to say. I think that, that is the best thing to be as clear as possible, okay? Okay, entonces, eh, sí, por ese, por ese lado, guys, creo que hay más formas probablemente, pero me gusta darles a ustedes, compartir con ustedes como las formas más naturales, ¿verdad? Lo que se usa más. No, y se agradece, lo único que sí preguntaba, porque, como lo repito, los americanos tienen muchas formas hasta, hasta para saludarse. That is right, yes. Cualquier cosa. <laughs> Gracias. You're welcome, Francisco, yes. All right, so, do you have any other question, guys, about this before we move on? I think that basically this is what we uh, this is what we learned last week. Yeah, that was it. So do you have any more questions? Any other question, guys? Before we continue? No question. Okay. All right. So in this case, guys, we're going to continue. We're going to uh, move on to the next topic. Okay, we have a new topic for today. So okay, here we go. Bear with me a second. Okay, guys. So for today, we are going to talk about the present continuous and making plans. Okay. I think that probably this is something that you guys uh, probably saw before in the past, but we are going to talk about this today. Okay, just in case. So we have two objectives for today, just like always. So objective number one, it is, uh, we're going to listen to a conversation between two people making plans, future with present continuous and be going to are going to be introduced okay, in this class. And we are also going to learn how to use future with the present continuous and be going to, okay? Bueno, guys, entonces vamos a hablar acerca del presente continuo. Vamos a ver cómo se utiliza esto para hacer planes a futuro. Probablemente ustedes ya lo hayan visto antes. Tenemos la forma del presente continuo que tiene diversos usos. Eh, se puede utilizar para hablar de algo, eh, just like it says here. Ok, so it says, the present continuous, also called present progressive, is a verb tense which is used to show that an ongoing action is happening now. Okay, eh, me gustaría que alguien leyera esto, por favor, para que ustedes también puedan hablar, ¿verdad? Que sean... Me, teacher? Yes, please go ahead, eh, Nadia. 
Yes. Mm, present continuous. The present continuous, also called present progress, is a verb tense, which is used to show that an ongoing action is happening now, aiding at moment of speaking or now in a large sense. Mm -hmm. The present continuous can also be used to show that an action is going to take place in the near future. Future. Oh. Okay, thank you so much, Nadia. Thank you, very good job. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. Okay, so yes, it says, um, okay, the, it, it is used to show that an ongoing action is happening now, either, okay, remember guys, either, uh, that is the most uh, common way that you can say it, okay, but some people also say either, but you can say either, okay? Either at the moment of a speech or now in a larger sense, okay? Remember that, larger, larger sense. The present continuous can also be used to show that an action is going to take place in the near future, okay? Entonces, guys, eh, como les estaba mencionando, presente continuo se puede utilizar eh, de diversas formas. Se puede utilizar para decir que una situación, una acción está pasando en este momento. Like you can say, I am listening to what the English teacher is saying. Okay. It is happening right now. And you can also say, uh, like in this case, the present continuous can also be used to show that an action is going to take place in the near future. Okay. También se puede utilizar para decir que algo va a suceder en el futuro cercano, ¿ok? Y yo les quería mostrar, guys, aquí esta pequeña, eh, esta pequeña imagen que tiene algunas, eh, les, les muestra el tiempo, ¿de acuerdo? Muestra, eh, acá tenemos el, el día lunes, 2 de agosto, y tenemos las diferentes partes del día, ¿de acuerdo? Eh, si queremos referirnos a esta mañana, nosotros vamos a decir this morning, ¿ok? So, eh, for example, you can say, uh, yes, just a moment, Francisco, just, just a moment. Please bear with me. Okay, so uh, this morning, that will be from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m., okay? Then this afternoon, from 12 to 5, okay? That will be considered the afternoon. And then you have uh, from 6 to 8 p.m. and forward, that will be uh, evening or tonight, okay? So... We are going to learn how to use these expressions using the present continuous, okay? Eh, sí, dígame, Francisco. No, iba a preguntar, tal vez suene algo loco la pregunta, no sé, sí. pero cuando nos referimos a eso, ¿ya no utilizamos lo que es el video, eh, did, etc.? ¿O solo simple, lo simplificamos con right now, to year, to week, tomorrow, on Friday, uh -huh. at 6 p.m., and tomorrow, etc., etc.? Gracias. No, you're welcome. You're welcome, Francisco. Yeah. So, yes, uh, this, this is something that you can use so you can talk about the future. Uh, this is like an additional option that you have. And most of the times, uh, the present progressive, it is used when something is going to happen in the near future. Okay. Just like the okay, definition okay. says. For example, uh, we have some examples here at the bottom. Okay. So, you have the present continuous for actions in the present, okay? Like, I am not studying English this year, or she's working at home this week, okay? Eh, y tenemos también para planes futuros. Y vamos a ver acá. Dice, I am buying shoes tomorrow. They are cleaning the house on Friday, not today. Janet's meeting bill at 5 five o'clock this afternoon. Ok. Entonces, para decir eh, planes a futuro, utilizando el presente continuo, nosotros vamos a utilizar, eh, vamos a hacer uso de estas expresiones de tiempo. Ok, teacher, thanks. You're welcome, Francisco. Yes. So you're going to say, like, I'm buying shoes this morning. I'm buying shoes this afternoon. Or tomorrow. Or the day after tomorrow. We're going to check some time expressions that I have for you guys. 
we're going to work on that too. So it says they are cleaning the house on Friday. Okay, si ustedes ven, todos están utilizando el presente continuo, pero estamos refiriéndonos a algo que va a suceder en el futuro. Okay? Okay, okay. Very good, very good. So let me see here. Let me see what else. Uh, okay, the, the, yes, and here we have, just like I mentioned just a moment ago, we have different time expressions. We have today, then we have uh, tomorrow, okay? Here, August the 2nd. Tomorrow, August the 3rd, okay? And the day after tomorrow, that will be August the 4th, all right? And then if you want to say uh, a day next week, then you will say something like next Monday, next Tuesday. Okay. All right. In este caso, guys, eh, vaya, tenemos acá el día de ahora, agosto 2. Mañana, agosto 3. Pasado mañana. That will be the day after tomorrow. Okay. That is the way that you need to say it. For example, you can say, eh, I'm going to be at English class, at the English class, the day after tomorrow between 8 and 9 p.m. Okay, estaré en la clase, voy a estar en la clase de inglés el día después de mañana o pasado mañana entre las 8 y las 9. Okay, y así vamos a ir describiendo situaciones del futuro utilizando estas expresiones de tiempo. Y, por ejemplo, vaya, en este caso, si quieren decir qué van a estar haciendo el, el siguiente, el otro lunes o el otro martes, then you can say, uh, I'm not going to be at the English class next Monday anymore. Okay, ya no voy a estar en la clase el, el de inglés el siguiente lunes, porque ya no hay clases, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a ver qué más. Eh, ya vamos a hacer una pequeña actividad para que ustedes puedan practicar. Eh, así que permítanme un instante por aquí. Veamos. Yo les quería mostrar algo, guys. So, sí. Okay, guys. So, uh, I'm going to show you a video, guys, like always, so you can see how this is used in a context. So, I'm going to share the screen with you, and then we are going to discuss the information on the video. And after that, we are going to practice, okay? That's what I want. I want you guys to practice. So, here we go. Please pay attention. Let's see, I think that we got it. Um, hold on. Hi, ready to start? This demo study future tense. Please pay attention to the conversation we're about to play. As you listen to it, try to identify the two ways to express a future plan. Remember, you may listen to the conversation as many times as you need to. Making plans. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Other time. Teacher. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Just a second. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry about that. Yes. Uh, please go ahead, Nadia. Teacher, can yes. you can you say uh, what I will and I will in contraction? Uh, yes. Yes, of course. I can do that, Nadia. Yes. So you can say, uh, you know, just I would, I would love to. And you can also say, I'd love to. Okay, it's like you add the D sound at the end. I'd, I'd love to, I love to, but I can't. Uh, when they say it fast, you can barely notice, but yeah, it's like a little D sound at the end. Okay, I'd love to go. 
I love to. I'd, okay, like I'd love to. I'd love and, to. And I, and I will, and the contraction I will, how and do then, you say? If you want to say the contraction with I will, then you say I'll. So I'll go. You add like okay. a, like an L sound at the end, just like that. Okay, teacher. Okay, so, all right. So you guys, uh, as you can see, we have the conversation here between two people. We have Lynn and Miguel. They are talking about plans for the near future. Okay, as you can see in the first sentence, Lynn says, uh, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? Okay, so they are talking about the near future. They are talking about this night, this evening, tonight. Okay, uh, so that's the reason why we are using the present progressive. Okay, then it says, I love to, but I can. Okay, entonces dice, me, gust me encantaría, me encantaría, pero no puedo. All right, and then it says, I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Okay, entonces eh, está hablando de que va a ir a un partido de fútbol con su hermano. Okay. Then it says, oh, well, maybe some other time. Okay, bueno, tal vez otra, en otra ocasión, en otra vez. Then it says, are you doing anything tomorrow? We could, we could go, uh, I'm sorry, we could go then. <laughs> All right, so it says, uh, are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Eh, harás algo, vas a hacer algo mañana, podríamos ir entonces, podríamos ir entonces, ¿de acuerdo? And then it says, tomorrow sounds fine, mañana suena bien, I am going to work until five, mañana suena bien, voy a trabajar hasta las cinco. Mm -hmm. And then it says, so let's go around six. And then it says, okay, afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. And finally, it says, uh, Mike Miguel says, sounds great. Okay, uh, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta, guys, con alguna expresión acá. O está todo claro, alguna duda, algo que les parezca interesante. Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, what does the mean afterward in Spanish? Mm -hmm. Afterwards is like you're saying después. Después. Yeah, después. Otra forma. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So any other question, guys, before we continue? It, so this is what we are going to do. I think that we can practice this. So let's do something, okay, guys? So you can so you can practice or you can talk because you are really quiet. And that's not the way that it should be. Uh, so let's do something. Uh, let's make couples. Uh, you, you can volunteer and let's practice this conversation, okay? So we can improve our pronunciation and so you can practice the present continuous. So please, who, uh, if somebody wants to, to volunteer, you can just raise your hand and we're going to practice this, okay? Okay, so we have Carlos and Jacqueline, okay? Very good. So in this case, uh, very good. So Jacqueline will be Lynn, and Carlos will be Miguel. So please go ahead, guys. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, after work. Maybe can can get some dinner. Sounds great. Awesome. Okay, awesome, guys. Thank you so much. That was really, really good. Congratulations, guys. You did a great job. Thank you, Jacqueline. Very good. Very good, Carlos. Very good. Okay, so now we have Francisco and Luis, okay? So in this case, let me see. So Luis will be Miguel he, and Francisco will be Lynn, okay? I see, I'm going. Sorry, Miguel. 
What are you doing tonight? Do you want to go to bowling? I love to, but I can. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. <clears throat> oh, well, maybe some other time. Other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow? So I'm going to work at the fine. <laughs> so let's go around six. Okay. After one, maybe we can have some time dinner. Sounds great. <risa> ok. Un momento para reír. Está bien, está bien. Sale la pregunta, teacher. Um, yes. ¿Son great? Eh, ¿Suena como. ¿Suena genial? ¿O uh -huh. me parece genial? ¿O qué tipo de traducción podría tener? Ya estoy llorando el teacher de la risa. <risa> no, no, está bien, está bien. Ok, thank you, teacher. Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you, guys. Yes, very good, very good. Yes, guys, you make me. Really happy because I can see that you guys uh, are really doing good. You're doing a good job, so that's perfect. Uh, Francisco, with all of the the acting too. Thank you, thank you, Francisco. <laughs> no problem, teacher. Mm. <laughs> bueno, entonces vamos a continuar. Eh, por acá está Carlos regalado y vamos a ver quién más. Jenny. Hoy sí okay. sale una chica. ¿eh? Oh, yes, 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 vamos a hacer la pareja, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay, very good. So in this case, uh, well, Jenny, Jenny is going to play Lynn and Carlos will be Miguel, all right? So whenever you're ready, guys, please go ahead. Uh, Jenny, you are muted. We can hear you. Yes. Sorry. Yes, okay. Hey, thank you, Jenny. What are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can. I am going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We call the team. Okay, tomorrow, sometime, I'm going to work on the five. So let's go around six. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. So great. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you so much, Carlos. And yes, thank you. That was perfect. Thank you, guys. Excellent job. So yes, just remember, uh, just a couple of things. Okay. So this word could. Okay. Could. Just like C U D, just like that. We say could, and then also, I think that that is the only thing. Yes, I think that other otherwise everything was perfect. So thank you guys, very good. Thank you, Carlos. All right. So then we have Iris, and okay, anybody else that wants to practice? Yeah, want... dar problem. <laughs> you want Puedo to play? Me teacher. Ah, y entró Juan ahí. <laughs> yes, yes, okay. Very good, yes. So, at the moment, we have uh, we have Iris, and we also me had Juan, Juan Martinez. Me teacher, Yanira también. Yanira okay. también, okay. Entonces, yes, entonces Yanira va a participar después, okay? Yanira. Okay. Very good. So, in this case, um, Iris will be Lynn, okay? And then Juan will be Miguel. So, please go ahead. Hi Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go the bowling? I love to, but I can. I'm going to a soccer match with my brothers. Oh, well, maybe some there other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow? So fine. I going to work until fine. So let's go around sick. Okay. After a while, maybe we can get some dinner. Sound great. Awesome. Very good. Very good job, guys. Thank you. Thank you both of you. Thank you, Iris and Juan. You did a great job. So perfect. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it that way. Okay, so then we have, I think, Janira wanting to participate. Yes. Okay. So then... Uh, 
Anybody else? Janira and Noemi. Okay, Noemi and Janira. Very good. So, in this case, uh, well, uh, Noemi will be Lynn and Janira will play Michael, Miguel, I'm sorry. So, whenever okay. you're ready, please go ahead. Okay. okay. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, after work maybe. Aquí está la mano levantada, excuse me. No, ya la okay. bajé. Okay. Okay. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. Mm -hmm. Miguel. Mm -hmm. So let's go around six. So, so let's go around six. Mm -hmm. Okay, after work. Maybe we can get some dinners. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. Oh, okay. Right. Excellent. Thank you. Very good job. Very good job, <laughs> Noemi. You are you're doing, you're doing a lot Falta of problems. Una así de, mm, oh, no, mm. <laughs> no uh, yes. Uh, I really want to thank you guys. And I can see that you guys have improved. You are doing a lot better than you were doing at the beginning. So that's really good. Thank you. Very good. Very, very good, guys. I'm really thank proud. You. Thank you, Noemi. Yes. Excellent. Excellent job. You're, you're welcome. Thank you. Okay, so uh, anybody else who wants to participate, if we don't have any more volunteers, then we can just continue with the next part, okay? We can just move on. Vamos a ver, guys, entonces, eh, por acá, permítanme un instante. Uh, Tomorrow sounds fine. Okay. Muchas gracias, guys, de verdad. Me gusta mucho cómo ustedes están participando y créanme que lo están haciendo muy bien. Creo que han mejorado mucho en cuanto a la pronunciación y les agradezco mucho también que están poniendo en práctica lo que yo les comento siempre, ¿verdad? Eso es muy importante. Entonces, eh, vamos a movernos. Les quería mostrar algunas expresiones por acá. Ya para terminar, que ya casi terminamos, ya casi se nos va la hora. Entonces, eh, les voy a mostrar por aquí. Vamos a ver dónde está acá. A San Google estamos viendo, teacher. <laughs> That's oh, fine, sí. yes. No, I mean, you can use, yes. <laughs> I am sorry about that, yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry about that. I was doing some research, so, uh, yes. All right, so we have some time expressions, like I mentioned before. We have present time expressions, like today, this week, this month, this year, at the moment, right now those are for present okay for the present time so you can say uh, today i am going uh, i'm going to go shopping today or i am going uh, i'm going to work this week okay or i'm going to i'm going to start doing exercise this month all right those are the uh, present time expressions uh, Right. So then you also have expressions that you can use for the future, like tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, in an hour, the day after. Okay. Estas son expresiones que quería compartir con ustedes, guys. Eh, muchas ocasiones, a veces no encontramos cómo expresar lo que queremos decir. Entonces, eh, anótenlas si ustedes gustan y bueno, les van a servir bastante, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, esta semana, este mes este año, en este momento, right now. Eso se utiliza bastante. Eh, también la siguiente semana, el siguiente año, eh, el siguiente mes, perdón, siguiente año, en una hora o el día después. ¿Ok? Eh, many times you will see that when you are trying to describe something that happened to you guys, for example, you will use these time expressions. ¿Ok? You will say like, Uh, something happened to me and then the day after I felt like uh, 
it, it got worse. Okay, you will you will use these time expressions. I think I can I, I can guarantee you that. So, do you guys have any questions about these time expressions before we continue? This Teacher. is some yes. Teacher, mm -hmm. how <clears throat> what's the meaning of nowadays? Nowadays, okay, very good. So nowadays it would be <clears throat> it's like this. Eh, esta expresión es como decir eh, actualmente o en estos días. Se utiliza por lo general cuando quieren expresar algo que está pasando durante estos días. Por ejemplo, eh, ustedes pueden decir que en estos días de pandemia, entonces algo que está ocurriendo ahora, que antes probablemente no estaba pasando. Okay. ¿Cómo, se, cómo se, eh, eh, se dice esa frase? Se dice, no, no guardáis, ¿o cómo? se dice casi como si estuvieran separados. Yo, yo así lo veo, al menos. Es como si dijera ah, okay, okay. nowadays. Nowadays. Okay, nowadays. Okay, nowadays. You can say it like that. Nowadays. So nowadays, eh, food is more expensive than it used to be. You can say something like that. En estos días, la comida es más costosa de lo que era antes. Así lo podemos utilizar. En estos días. Ok. Any other question, guys, before we go? And I just wanted to show you the structure that we need to use so you can make the, the present continuous, okay? So you are going to use the, the subject that can be a noun, it can be a pronoun like this. Then you are going to use the verb to be like am, is, and are. You're going to use that. And then at the end, you uh, and then after that, you're going to use the verb Okay, I'm sorry about this. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, then you're going to use the verb in the ing form like this. I am answering, he is living, they are eating, and then the compliment. Okay, it can be any compliment that you want. For example, in this case, it says, I am answering emails, okay, this morning, basically. And then it says, he is living in 10 minutes. Él se irá, él se va a ir en 10 minutos, okay? Living, live. Ese es el verbo en la forma base, ¿de acuerdo? Cuando ustedes quieren decir que se van a ir de un lugar, eh, ustedes dicen live. Okay, I'm going to live in 10 minutes. Some people also say eh, to take off. Take off is an expression that you guys use eh, for planes, okay? Like the plane is going to take off. It's going, it va a despegar el avión. Eh, entonces también en el caso de las personas, a veces dicen, eh, ya me voy a ir eh, utilizando esto, ¿verdad? I'm, I'm going to take off in about 10 minutes. Okay, that would be another option that you have. Uh, then uh, we have the final example that says they are, okay, so subject, in this case a pronoun, they are eating with us on Friday. Okay, ellos comerán con nosotros o van a comer con nosotros el viernes. De acuerdo? Siempre que se refieran a un día, guys, eh, Un día en específico, ustedes van a utilizar la preposición on, okay? They are eating on with us on Friday. They are eating with us on Monday. And you can also say like the specific date. For example, you can say they are eating with us on Friday uh, 16, for example, or September the 30th. I don't know, something like that. Okay, but when you talk about a specific day like this, Friday, then you need to use on, okay? So that is the structure, guys. Subject plus the verb to be, plus the verb in the ing form, plus the complement, just like that. All right, so Francisco, yes, go ahead. Yo siempre tengo un problema con lo que es los switch. ¿Cuáles son los significados cuando, donde, cuando te dicen la H después de la W? Um, y a veces creo que le he visto después de la I. Tal vez me equivoque. ¿Usted se refiere, Francisco, a dónde se coloca la H? No, es que he visto lo que es quit, que lo ponen en varias formas, pero siempre me equivoco el significado de cada uno. Bueno, pero he visto quit con H después de la W. Y a veces, en vez de... Uh -huh. uh, bueno, lo voy a escribir aquí como lo he visto. Para que me equivoque. Ponga, pónganos unos ejemplos ahí, vamos a ver. No, solo, solo me acuerdo que lo he visto así. Uh -huh. 
pero no sé si me, me estoy equivocando y otro que he notado que es así. O quizás yo me estoy equivocando. Sí, vamos a ver. Tal vez me estoy equivocando. Ahí va a disculpar que lo, lo, lo sí. molesto. Sí, yo creo que, bueno, tal vez lo vio lo vio mal quizás Francisco porque sí creo que solamente sería como la primera que me envió oh perdón ok quiero ver déjeme ver ok mi error entonces dicho gracias vamos a ver un momento Francisco permítame vamos a confirmar uh, vamos a ver ya es un latino lo escrito que ya por eso lo he visto así <risas> puede ser sí sí porque bueno el, como está acá el que les he mostrado en la presentación es el único que yo he visto, la verdad. Ah, pues son, mm -hmm. solo he visto latinos, entonces escribí ese. It may be, yes, it may be. <laughs> It's okay, Francisco. All right, so guys, do you have any other questions? Teacher, sorry, yes. the question. Pronuncia, pronuncia 30, 30 y la tela, así como la pronunciación. That is, yeah, that, that is an excellent question, Carlos, and it can be difficult to pronounce sometimes. Uh, you need to add like a, like an F sound at the end, okay? Like 30th, the 30th, okay? Like an okay. F at the end. It's difficult, Thanks. but you can, you're welcome. Sure. Yeah, you're welcome. But yeah, just like that, guys, uh, when it comes to these kind of numbers, it can be a little bit hard at the beginning, but yes, if you have questions with that, we can practice someday. And I can give you some advice. I can give you, the, some tips that actually help me. So I can do that, of course. Okay, any other question, guys, besides this? Anything else? Okay, so you don't have any questions for today, guys. This is going to be it for today. And I will see you guys again tomorrow uh, between 8 and 9 p.m., okay? Remember that this is okay. going to be like the last week of this level. And after that, well, I think that you probably will have to wait and then start with the process so you can uh, so you can enroll in the next level. So, okay. So guys, uh, thank you for being here one more time. And I hope you guys have a great evening. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay, Bye-bye. Good, good night, guys. Good night, good night everyone. Bye-bye. See you later. <laughs> Good night, teacher. Good night. <laughs>